Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Manuel Gaxa versus Chris Duncan. And how I see the fight between these two is, um, I just think it really comes down to Manuel Gaxa just has not fought a good competition. He's pretty much been fighting people off the street, people out of the um, their first MMA, like, you know, train, entry level, um, civilian class, training class, like, you know, this pedestrian level or civil, civilian, whatever case, suburban mom level, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, MMA class. Like, that's where the competition he's been fighting. Dudes out of Safeway and dudes out of the supermarket, that's where he's been fighting. That's where level company fight. They come out, do come out and do flashy kicks and then when, if that's not working, he'll shoot, shoot like this explode on takedown to take people down without much resistance because they just don't have those skills to really defend them. Like, that's what he does. He's got there, do a bunch of flashy kicks, explode on takedowns, and that's what he does. Gord, and he just grounds up and pounds out these guys that just don't have the skills or the experience or the, any bit of anything. These rural, I don't want to say rural talent, these just these rural dudes off the streets. That's like the level of competition, like this straight, horrendous level. And I'm not high on either of these guys, but at least Chris Duncan has been, I said Chris, at least Chris Duncan has been fighting at least decent competition for where he's at, where I feel like Manuel Gaxa has been fighting very far beneath his skill level and just looking good, but competition been been looking far less than stellar, beyond mediocre. And I'm going to take the guy that has been fighting decent competition and has the more fleshed out skill set and not, you know, more substance and less flash to win a decision in this one. I don't think he's going to stop Gaxa. I think he's predicting to stop it over Gaxa. I think it's going to be a case where he's going to school him for like three rounds, big brother him, be the bigger man, be the more experienced man. They shut him out and make him look sloppy for doing all these flashy stuff and probably just put him on his back or tag him every single time he does something sloppy. He goes flashy stuff, meet flash with substance, and beat him to a decision. So in this one, I have Chris Duncan via decision.